Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We certainly give thanks unto the Lord once again for allowing us to come together. Amen. And we don't take it for granted that the Lord has allowed us to come together one more time. So as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, let us remember men and women and children everywhere that the Lord will continue to save and add to the church daily such as should be saved. I know if I had a prayer request, <laughs> I think about that, uh, that one of those guys, the thieves that was on the cross with Jesus, mm -hmm. and he made his request known and wanted to be with Jesus. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said, um, today you're going to be with me in paradise. How liberating is that? Mm -hmm. How freedom is that? Mm -hmm. there you go. That's, that's one good prayer, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. So let that be my prayer request. Let that be your repair request. Yeah. Above all requests. Yeah. Lord, let me be with you when you come. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. So as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, we want to remember men and women and children everywhere that the Lord will continue to save and add to the church daily such as should be saved. Any other particular prayer requests? Just want to ask prayer for all. And I mean, it's a lot. Yeah. All of Yes. Going yes. Ask God to be with them, touch their hearts and their minds, and if they have not given their lives to the Lord, that they need to do so. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, the church. Just continue to pray for Latanya that the Lord will touch her body. Pray for Sister Latanya that the Lord will touch her body and her mind. Amen. All right. Well, let's pray for our Sunday, <laughs> our Sunday school. Let's pray for our uh, Wednesday Bible study. Let the church stand. Let every heart pray. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we certainly thank you and praise you for your grace, your mercy, your love, and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for having blessed each and every one of us to even come out on today. We ask you, Lord, that you cover us with your blood, protect us from danger seen and unseen, rebuke death, rebuke the devour, keep us in the center of your will, let your most perfect will be done by your power, by your might, and by your Holy Ghost anointing. Destroy every yoke, break down every stronghold in the name of Jesus. And Lord, bless us, Latanya. Bless, Lord, the bereaving families, Lord, in each and every request, spoken and unspoken. Father, we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. The Bible commands us to acknowledge him in all of our ways. Amen. So that he can direct our path. And the scripture says that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. We want the Lord to order our steps. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. We want him to order our steps. I was uh, getting ready to pray today, and uh, I just started making my request known. And I said, oh, Lord, I, I'm out of order. Mm -hmm. i got to give you praise and give you thanks mm -hmm. and magnify your holy name. Yeah. And uh, I'm so glad the Lord understands. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I'm so glad he understands. He knows. Thank you, Jesus. So we certainly uh, want you to turn with us to the book of St. John, uh, John chapter 18, uh, in particular, John chapter 18. And um, because this is a, a high holy week, um, our minds and our thoughts should be on Jesus and uh, what he uh, has transpired and what he has gone through. Mm -hmm. Our hearts and our minds ought to be on the Lord mm -hmm. as, as this Holy Week occurs um, leading up, as we all know, um, to his, the week of his passion. His passion week is crucifixion, his suffering. And as as Christ gave his life for us, uh, let us uh, seek to give our life for him. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that if I seek to save my life, I'll lose it. But if I lose it for his sake, I'll gain it and that even more. So uh, there were some events that had transpired uh, concerning uh, things that Jesus had gone through. And as we um, look here in our scriptures here, I want to ask Pastor Duck if she'll be our reader. Um, and uh, 
St. John chapter 18. St. John chapter 18. And looking at also some things that happened. You know, there's some things that happened. Uh, Christ went through not only when I said his passion, uh, meaning his, his suffering, uh, he's all, he was also betrayed. Amen. He was also betrayed. And not only was he betrayed by Judas, but he was betrayed also by Peter. And, you know, and the Bible talks about also the other 12 deserted him. You know, and, you know, and he was betrayed also by his, by his countrymen. Yep, the high priest betrayed him. <laughs> oh, my God. If I got the high priest turned it back on him, betrayed him, thank you, Lord. And, and then, you know, when he was on that, I, well, I wouldn't call it that. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Um, I was going to say even his father turned his back on him, but that wasn't a betrayal. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. But, you know, he, he went through something. Yeah. Amen. He went through something. And yet, um, he was led uh, dumb as a lamb to the slaughter. Amen. He didn't, he didn't uh, murmur. He didn't complain. Uh, and he went through that as a champion uh, for our sake. Amen. All right, Pastor Duck, uh, St. John, chapter 12, verse, I mean, chapter 18, verse number 1. What does it say? When Jesus had spoken these words, uh -huh. he went forth with his disciples over the brook Cedron, mm -hmm. where it was a garden, into the which he entered and his disciples. So Jesus, in, as you, if you were to read uh, chapter 17, um, that's uh, the high priest's prayer. That's Jesus. He prayed in chapter 17 and he prayed uh, that the father would glorify him you know he said the hour has come it's time for me to be glorified glorify me with the glory that I had with thee before the world began and then Jesus also in that prayer he prayed for his disciples that none would be lost that and that also that is more uh, of a, uh, one of the hinging prayers that um, that that the people would believe on the disciples. That, in other words, we would believe on what the disciples taught, the apostles' doctrine. And he prayed, he prayed uh, for deliverance uh, for all of us. And that's what it means is that when Jesus had spoken these words, when after he had prayed in that in that space in the garden, that he went. Uh, with his disciples over to the book of Cedron. And that, that book is a, the, if you would read it and study it, um, it was a, a, some running water that um, really was only uh, uh, running, I can't figure that out, only running in the winter months. Didn't run in the summer months, you know. <laughs> and that's kind of odd. Thank you, Lord. And, and Jesus was there. He was in a garden. That garden there was the Garden of Gethsemane. And Jesus, as we would see here, um, he went there with his disciples, and he went there uh, to pray. And uh, the Bible is going to tell us that Jesus went there often to pray. Uh, he went there often to pray. And that, that's setting forth an example for us. We should all have a solitary place, a place of respite where we can go pray and commune with the Lord. Whether it's your own backyard, whether it's your bedroom, whether it's uh, your living room or, or the church, wherever. You know, you should have a place where it, you have sanctified it, if you allow me to say it. Set it apart for you and God. Amen. And Jesus left us that example, and we ought to follow that example. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. It makes a difference. All right, can you read that verse again, Pastor? When Jesus had spoken these words, uh -huh. he went forth with his disciples over the brook Cedron, uh -huh. where was the garden, yes. into the which he entered, and his disciples. Amen. So he took his disciples with him. Now, John doesn't uh, bring the poor part out that how Jesus... Uh, cried and agonized and prayed, Father, if there be any other way, remove this cup. Amen. And he said, nevertheless, not my will, but what? 
thy will be done. He doesn't bring that out in his epistle, but it's brought out in the other epistles. Jesus was praying, agonizing, and he told his disciples, uh, I need y'all to pray with me. Uh, least ye also enter into temptation. And you know they didn't, they was falling asleep. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. And then when the tempters came, Peter whipped out his sword and cut off the guy's ear. Amen. He entered into temptation. Uh, why? Because he wasn't praying. Because he didn't follow uh, the lead of Jesus. That's why the Bible says men should always pray uh, and not faint, not give up. Amen. We should always have a prayer life. Amen. Amen. All right, read. And Judas also, Glory. and Judas also, mm -hmm. which betrayed him, mm -hmm. knew the place. Yes. Where Jesus oftentimes resorted thither with his disciples. So now Jesus, he, I mean Judas, he knew where Jesus would be going, and this is one of the the saddest uh, scriptures uh, in the Bible, where it says, "And Judas, who was with Jesus, mm -hmm. with him." Amen? Mm -hmm. Slept with him, ate with him, talked with him, been taught by him, saw the miracle signs and wonders. Mm -hmm. Amen? But he turned around and betrayed him. Yeah. Turned his back on him. Amen? Amen? Turned his back on him. Thank you, Lord. Sad commentary, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. So, so we don't want to end up like that. No. Huh? No. We don't want to end up like that. Uh, we, we, we have fellowship with Jesus. This, we have experienced his anointing, haven't we? Uh, we have talked with him. He has talked with us. Uh, we don't want to turn our backs on him. We don't want to betray him. Amen? Amen. Uh, hallelujah. Because uh, 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 woe unto them that betray the Christ, that turn their back on him. Amen? Amen? Thank you, Jesus. And notice, he betrayed him. He knew the place uh, where Jesus was going to pray. And he sold him out. He dined him out for how many pieces of silver? 30. 30, 30 pieces of silver. Told on him. Huh? The price of blood. And when he tried to give it back, the people didn't want it back. <laughs> because they knew it was blood money. Uh, they knew that they were doing wrong. Uh, and, but yet, they turned their back on Jesus and, and betrayed him for 30 pieces of silver. Sad commentary. All right? And then notice. Uh, he knew the place, for Jesus oftentimes resorted thither with his disciples. He went there with his disciples and prayed often. Amen? Amen. All right, read. Don't say, oh, glory. Don't it say uh, in one scripture that Satan entered his heart? Yes, entered G uh, Judas. Judas's heart. Absolutely. That, he entered his heart at the, at the table at, when they was having their yeah. Passover meal. Uh, Jesus said, what thou doest, do us quickly. Amen. Because Satan had entered into his heart. Amen. He was, and Jesus, and I see now he bring up another good point. Uh, Jesus said, haven't I told, chosen twelve, but one of you is a devil? Uh, and he, he knew Judas was a devil. He knew it. He knew it. And you know, I can't figure out to this day, y'all probably going to have to help me, that uh, uh, he knew Judas was a thief. But he had the purse. He, he, was, he was the bookkeeper. He, he was the treasurer. <laughs> and Jesus let him have it. He let him have the money. Thank you, Lord. Because before that Passover, uh, uh, what's her name? Mary. She, she broke that alabaster box and anointed Jesus for his death. And, and Judas got upset. And said, oh, what money did think this waste? You know, we could have sold this and given it to the poor. But, but the Bible looked uh, at his heart and said, no, nah, he didn't really want to do that. Uh, he, he was a thief. He wanted, he wanted that money. You know, but uh, I can't figure out why what Jesus would allow him to have a purse. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. He knew he was a thief. Thank you, Jesus. I guess giving him an opportunity. I'm waiting for you Bible scholars to open up my understanding. <laughs> That's why I'm asking the question. <laughs> When y'all find out, let me know. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. So we see here. Read that next verse, Pastor. Verse 3. Uh-huh. Judas then, having received a band of men and officers from the chief priests and Pharisees, mm -hmm. cometh thither with lanterns and torches and weapons. Now notice. He said, when Judas 
Then having received a band of men, that band of men were the Roman soldiers. And a band of men, those Roman soldiers, were about 600 of them. Came to Jesus with 600 of those soldiers. Amen. You know they, was, they wanted him. Amen. One person coming out here. And you know, uh, I'll get you deep, uh, but those Roman soldiers, they weren't a joke. They, they, they trained hours upon hours on how to fight. That's how come they conquered you know, the world. The one, one uh, historians say that at one time, the sun never sat on their empire. That's how much territory they had taken. And, and their theory, their philosophy was, if, if you were in our army, you didn't fight, uh, uh, we gonna kill you, you know? So that was a, a motivator for them to fight. Dig and feel? It, it was like, uh, like they did for Anna. They were doing this at night. Yes, they, yes. They're not supposed to do that type of stuff. <laughs> they, they were doing it at night. Coming with a no knock warrant. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Coming after the master. Amen. 600 of them. Uh, not only them, but also, uh, what does it say? The, the, the chief priests and the Pharisees, mm -hmm. you know, the religious leaders, the ones that were supposed to be protecting Jesus. Mm -hmm. They came at him. You know, they coming thither. Notice they coming with them with lanterns and torches and weapons. Mm -hmm. They came after the one that was the, uh, with torches, uh, after the one who's the light of the world. Yeah. Amen. Jesus is the light of the world. They came at him with torches. Mm -hmm. uh, they, he, Jesus is described as the Prince of Peace. Mm -hmm. They came after the Prince of Peace with weapons. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus didn't come to fight. Yeah. Huh? He didn't come to fight, but yet... They, they, and he never did anything uh, that would provoke them to make them think that he was fighting. All Jesus was doing was preaching the gospel, healing the sick, raising the dead, amen, preaching truth, laying down a foundation. But yet they came to him with weapons, amen, came to him with weapons, wanted to overtake him. Thank you, Lord. I, I'm getting mad. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Come in with weapons. Thank you, Lord. My God. The Prince of Peace. Amen? Coming after the Prince of Peace. Thank you, Lord, with weapons. The coming after the light of the world with torches. Amen? Thank you. That's ironic, isn't it? Thank you, Lord. All right? Good glory. Verse 4. Uh-huh. Jesus, therefore, knowing all things that should come upon him, uh -huh. went forth yes. and said unto them, now Jesus, he understood. He said, for this cause came I into the world, that I might give my life as a ransom for many. Amen? And that he knew that uh, uh, his time had come. He knew that his, his hour was nigh. A lot of times in the Bible, uh, Jesus did some miracles and told people, don't tell nobody. Um, and remember the first one that he did, he told his, his mother Mary, uh, you know, my, it ain't my hour. It's not my time. You know, but now is the time. Yeah. Now is the time yeah. for him to give his life as a ransom for many. Yeah. You know, there comes a time, uh, a fork in the road, so to speak, when we have to give our life unto Christ. Yeah. Amen. There is a time yeah. uh, for us to turn our hearts over to Jesus. Yeah. We all face that time. Amen. We all face that time. And let us embrace that time. Yes. Uh, let us embrace that. I knew when my time came uh, that, that, that uh, uh, if I didn't give my life over to the Lord, I was going to die. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let us not, we, don't, we don't have to get to that point. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Don't, don't get soaked up till you become a piece of bread before you realize it's my time. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's my season to turn my life over to the Lord, to make a change. Mm -hmm. Thank God for a change. Yeah. Thank God for the anointing. Yeah. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Thank God for the baptism in yeah. Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. Thank yeah. God for the Word of God. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank God that, that we all have a time, we all have a season. 
Hey, glory, hallelujah. And that you didn't overstay the day of grace. Uh, that you answered the call. Uh, when you heard the gospel preached unto you, you responded uh, and said, Lord, hear am I. What must I do to be saved? You all remember the apostle Paul, uh, when he was on the road of Damascus, he saw Jesus, didn't he? Hallelujah. And, and, he, and, and the Lord appeared unto him. And he fell off his beast. Thank you, Lord. And, 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 and Jesus spoke to him uh, and told him, I'm Jesus whom thou persecutest. And then Jesus told him what he needed to do, uh, to be born again. Thank God that you've been born again uh, of the water and of the spirit. Hallelujah. We all got a time. Uh, yeah, glory. And now it's our time. Amen. It's our time to walk with the Lord. It's our time to declare his name. It's, it's our time to lift him up. He said, if I be lifted up, I'll do what? Draw all men unto me. Amen. You know, I'm going to say this. Uh, Jesus, they came to Jesus with uh, torches and lanterns and, and clubs and staves and, and, and all of that. Those weapons of warfare. And, and Jesus uh, because there was so much darkness around, he shined his light. Amen. This we have so much darkness in our world that we're living in now. We ought to shine his light. Uh, we ought to let our light shine. If there's never a time that we, we, the church of the living God, should shine, it's right now. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We should be shining. Thank you, Lord. We should be shining. He said, "Let your light shine." Among men. Yes. Amen? Amen? Thank you, Lord. My God, my God. And you know, uh, the place where we really should be shining is not in these walls, but the place where we should be shining is in dark places. Amen. <laughs> here, Amen. here, you should be light upon light. Uh -huh. Amen? Because we all light up, up in here. We should be. Amen? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. <laughs> yeah, you need your recharge and refilling and refueling uh, and go back out. Hallelujah. <laughs> Shine in them dark places. Uh, let people see that you serve the Christ, uh, the Son of the living God. Am I right? Hallelujah. My God, I'm getting excited now. I was mad, but now I'm excited. <laughs> hey! Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. What verse be in, Pastor? St. John chapter 18, verse number 5. Read it. What's it say? They answered him, uh -huh. Jesus of Nazareth. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. Read for, for again. Jesus, therefore, knowing all things that should come upon him. Now, notice, Jesus had all knowledge of what was about to happen. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's key to this particular lesson. Mm -hmm. That he knew everything that was about to happen. Amen. Uh, and he, he knew Everything that was going to come upon him, he knew how he was going to suffer. He knew that they were going to crucify him, hang him up on that cross to die. They knew that he was going to be scourged. Uh, his very vigilance was going to be marred beyond recognition. He knew all of this was going to happen. Amen? Amen. Uh, and he knew for what purpose and for what cause uh, his death would bring glory to his Father and bring salvation to you and I. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. He knew all of that. Uh, he knew that his labor, in other words, would not be in vain. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and that's how we have to approach uh, our test and trials. When the scripture says, count it all joy, uh, when you fall into diverse temptations, know, know that what you're going through is going to bring glory. Uh, to God. It's going to make you better. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Go ahead, Pastor Duck. Now I understand that scripture where it says he saw the travail of his soul. Yes. And he was satisfied. <laughs> yes. And then you wow. just make me understand. Yes. Yes. Isn't that fitting? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. He saw the travail of his soul uh, and was satisfied yeah. because he knew. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. By God. By God. All right. All right. Now notice he said uh, he knew all things that should come upon him. He, and, and, and yet, look at that uh, statement right there. Went forth. He went forth. Uh, he went forth. Mm -hmm. He knew everything that was going to happen to him, but didn't shirk in his responsibilities. Mm -hmm. He went forth. Amen. Amen. Life ain't always easy. No. 
Amen. Trials and tribulations, they can be burdensome sometimes, can't they? But we still got to go for it. Amen. We still got to go for it. Huh? We still got to go for it. Yeah. I want y'all to get that tonight. We still got to press toward the mark yeah. uh, of the prize of the high calling of God, yeah. which is in Christ Jesus. Yeah. We still got to be steadfast yeah. huh? and unmovable, uh -huh. huh? always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much yeah. as we know our labor is not in vain. Yeah. Don't let a headache stop you. Uh, don't let no bad comments stop you. Uh, don't let no people stop you. Uh, don't let no devil stop you. Uh, keep on pressing. Uh, like Evangelist Ellington, she preached that sermon one day. Can't stop, won't stop. Y'all remember that? Uh, we can't stop. Uh, God won't stop. Amen. We got to keep on pressing. We got to go forward. Amen. Pastor Doug, I want you to preach that one day. Go forward. <laughs> and, all right. Amen. All right. So he went forth, and notice, he said unto them, Whom seek ye? Amen. Whom seek ye? Uh, whom seek ye? Who are you looking for? All right. Read. They answered him, uh -huh. Jesus of Nazareth. Yes. Jesus said unto them, uh -huh. I am he. Yes. And Judas also, which betrayed him, stood with them. Yes. So they, they, they identified who they were looking for by his government name. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's Jesus' government name. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, they said Jesus of Nazareth. Mm -hmm. uh, that's his government name. Yes. And uh, the Sanhedrin uh, put that name on his arrest warrant mm -hmm. along with the Romans. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why he said, uh, uh, you notice in the Bible, they often say, uh, uh, David, the son of Jesse, yeah. you know, or whomever, the son of so-and-so. Yeah. See, they didn't want to say Jesus Christ, the son of God. No. Uh, that would have convicted him. Uh -huh. uh, so they gave him his government name. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Jesus uh, of Nazareth. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. They didn't want to identify who his father was. Because if they really believed in uh, Joseph with his father, they would have said, J, J. Jesus, the son of Joseph. Yeah. Amen. But they didn't believe that. <laughs> Hallelujah. So they said, they said, Jesus of Nazareth, uh, and Jesus said unto them, I am he. Amen. I am he. And, uh, and, and, and Judas also with him, which betrayed him, he stood with those other guys. Amen. Jesus' heart was really turned over to the devil. Thank you, Lord. Uh, if there was ever a sad case in the Bible, this is one of them. Uh, when he, even when he came to repent, he didn't allow the process of repenting to take place in his heart, and he took his own life, committed suicide. Ain't that the way the devil will do you? Thank you, Lord. It's, no, it's not good to get in cohorts with the devil. Amen. He comes to kill, steal, and to destroy. Amen. Amen. The Bible even says about Judas, it was better for him even not to be born. Yeah. Amen. Digging fields. This is why the scripture says, for the love of money mm. is the root of all. Wow. Wow. Amen. Man, you hit on something there. Mm -hmm. Because Judas loved money, didn't he? Mm -hmm. uh, he was a money changer. Yeah. Uh, and he loved money. Uh, and that's what the Bible says. The love of money is the what? The root of all evil. My God. My God. My God. My God. I'm going to have to write that down. I like that. <laughs> all right. Where we at? Verse 6. Uh-huh. As soon then as he had said unto him, unto them, I am he. Yes. They went backwards. <laughs> Look at the power. He fell to the ground. Fell to the ground. Look at the anointing. Uh -huh. Amen. And when I, when I read that, Today, I was thinking of uh, when Jesus was in that garden, full of the Holy Ghost, crying out, praying, seeking the Father, amen, and anointed. <laughs> hallelujah, shut up. Glory, hallelujah. You know, when you're anointed, you can cause things to happen. Amen. When you're anointed and have that contact with the Father, it doesn't matter what you're going through. Hallelujah. They can feel the power. They can feel the anointing. 
Thank you, Lord. And they fell back. Oh, but imagine that. Now, if I, if I was them soldiers and he said that, and whatever anointing came after Jesus fell back, I'd have got up and kept on running. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. My God. My God. And notice. Go ahead, Pastor Doug. I was going to say, you don't have to tell people that you're anointed. <laughs> Your anointing will announce you. There you go. I like that. Yeah. Hallelujah. I like that. Thank you, Jesus. My God. And notice, Jesus, uh, when, when those 600 men plus the, the Pharisees and all those others that came with them, mm -hmm. when, when they was looking for Jesus, Jesus said, I am he, and he didn't run. Amen. He didn't hide. Mm -hmm. And he said, I'm the one you're looking for. Mm -hmm. huh? Thank you. Lord. He stood up. Mm -hmm. huh? You follow me? That's what we got to do. Be bold. Yes. Huh? Stand up. Yes. Hallelujah. Don't, don't shirk. Don't, yes. don't let him see you sweat. Yes. Amen. He did his sweating before when he was praying in the garden. Sweat came down his face like great drops of blood. Yes. Amen. It's, it's over. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And he had it made up in his mind what he was going to do. Uh, have your mind made up before you get there. Uh, what you're going to do. Don't be making your mind up when you get to the test. Uh, have your mind made up before the test. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Uh, like Be like Esther. If I perish, I perish, but I'm going to see the king. Amen. Uh, that's how we got to be. Be like Job in this flesh. Uh, God, I'm going to see you. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Look, if you if you allow me to die, I know you're gonna resurrect me again. Yeah. Amen. That's that's the kind of mindset we had to have. Good, Lord. Huh, Sister Louise? Before there was any action on either one of those parts, uh huh. Before they said anything, they prayed first. Yes, absolutely. They had to get that anointing. They had to get that spirit. Yes. You said that anointing is what gives you the boldness. It takes away the fear. Yes. So you can stand the test when you have the anointing of God. Absolutely. Yeah. My God, that's true. You can stand the test uh, if you have the anointing of God. Yeah. It's that anointing that destroys the earth. Yeah. Amen. Look, that's what he did when he raised Lazarus from the dead. Yeah. He prayed beforehand, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then when it came down to, to raising Lazarus, he, he prayed again. He said, Father, I know you hear me. <laughs> I know you hear me. You always hear me. Huh? Hallelujah. And he said, I'm praying not for me, but I'm praying for they sake. Yeah. Huh? That they might believe. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Jesus wants us to believe. Yeah. Huh? Uh, we got to believe. Yeah. Uh, if you don't believe nothing else, believe that Jesus died. Believe that he rose again. Huh? And believe that he's coming back. Yeah. Uh, coming back for a church. Uh, coming back for you and I uh, that has no spot, no wrinkle, or any such like. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. My God. I'm getting so much out of this. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So, so when it came down for the people coming up against Jesus, he said, I, I am he. Read. And they fell backward to the ground. <laughs> Full of the anointing. Yes. Uh, full of power. Amen. Uh, you got to be full of the anointing. Yes. Uh, be full of power. Yes. Uh, let me, all right, read. Then ask he them again, mm -hmm. whom seek ye? Yes. And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Mm -hmm. Jesus answered, I have told you that I am he. <laughs> if therefore ye seek me, let these go their way. Yeah. What verse here, Pastor? Eight. All right, verse number eight. He said, he said, read that again, I'm sorry. Jesus answered, I have told you that I am he. Yes. If therefore ye seek me, yes. let these go their way. Amen. So he's saying that I told you again mm -hmm. that I am the one whom you're seeking. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Huh? And, and he said, uh, if therefore ye seek me, let the, let the other ones go. Right. Uh, they ain't got nothing to do with it. Jesus displaying himself as the good shepherd. Amen. The one that lays his life down for the sheep. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, um, um, it shows us something where in last week we talked about uh, uh, husband loves your wives and, 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 and as Christ loved the church, 
and, and give yourself for them. Uh, that's what Jesus is doing. This is a perfect example of how Jesus gives his life for his church, for you and I. Amen? He'd rather take the brunt. He'd rather take the pain. Uh, he'd rather lay down his life for you uh, and let you go free. Hallelujah. And whom the Son has set free is what? Free indeed. Free indeed. What a mighty Savior. Yeah. What a mighty deliverer. Yeah. Uh, what a mighty Father. Father. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. What a mighty great high priest. Yeah. Uh, yeah, glory. Yeah. Uh, he cares for us. Yeah. My God, he cares for us. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He said, he said, I need let these ones go free. Yeah. Uh, no, they ain't got nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. Amen? Not yet. <laughs> I agree. What verse you in? Nine. All right, read. Let the saying might be fulfilled which he spake. Uh-huh. Of them which thou gavest me have I lost none. Amen. And that's and that's written in the scriptures. The one that uh, the scriptures say, the one. Uh, as many as thou hast given me, he has lost none. Amen. You know, Jesus also prophesied and said, no man can take you out of my hand. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. If you connected with Jesus, you won't be lost. Amen. You won't be confounded. Amen. Amen. Because he is that rock. He's that cornerstone. Amen. He's that chief cornerstone. Yeah. You can put all your eggs in his basket. Amen. <laughs> in fact, you should put all your eggs in his basket. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And you won't be ashamed. Am I right? Amen. Thank you, Lord. He won't, you won't get lost if you follow Jesus. Amen. Am I right? Amen. Can't get lost if you follow in the light of the world. Amen. Can't get lost by following the lily of the valley. Right. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Every, people get lost when they turn their back on Jesus. Yeah. He said, straight is the gate mm -hmm. and narrow is the way that leadeth to life. Uh, and few there be that find it. Yeah. But broad is the way and wide is the gate that leads to what? Destruction. Destruction. And many go there and that. Mm -hmm. Notice what Jesus said. In he in at the what? Straight gate. He's the straight gate. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Yeah. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Yeah. If you don't take that road, you'll be lost. Yeah. If you don't follow after Jesus, you'll be lost. Yeah. Uh, it's, that's, that's, that's dummy proof. <laughs> if you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you, can't get, you can't get no plainer than that. Right. You got to follow after Jesus. Yeah. Can't follow after Buddha. Can't follow after Muhammad. Can't follow after the Eastern light or the Eastern stars. You can't follow after that. No. Uh, can't follow after the Masonic temple. No. You can't follow after that. No. Amen. You can't follow after Islam. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to follow after Jesus. Now, if all the other religions line up with Jesus, because Jesus ain't religious, uh, he's, uh, he's about salvation, Amen. they'll enter in. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. Amen. You follow what I'm saying? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All right? So I'm, I'm trying to get those people who are listening to me some hope if you're in one of those religions. <laughs> and the hope is to line up with Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. That's the hope. Uh, he's the light of the world. Amen. Isn't it? Hallelujah. He's the hope for mankind. Yes. Amen. He's yes. the hope that lies beyond the grave. Yes. Am I right? Yes. Hallelujah. My God. All right. What verse we in? Ten. All right. Then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it. Mm -hmm. Now notice. Now see, because Peter wasn't prayed up, because Peter didn't have victory. You remember what Jesus told Peter? He said, Simon Peter, the devil has desired to do what? Sift you as wheat. Huh? Then he said, Peter, I pray for you that your faith fail not. Huh? And then he said, Peter, when thou art converted, do what? At this point, Peter wasn't converted. <laughs> he was still operating in the flesh. You follow me? Thank you. you can still uh, be seeking after the Lord uh, be, but 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 still be operating in the flesh, huh? And then uh, you can claim to be on the Lord's side and still operating in the flesh. But in the time of crisis, it'll show up. Yes. Uh, in a time of trouble, adversity, your flesh will show up. Uh, you still need to be converted. 
<laughs> you follow me? Amen. But remember, he prayed for you, so your faith won't fail. Amen. Hallelujah. So, so faith is the victory yeah. huh, that overcometh the world, yeah. even our faith. Yeah. Huh? Thank you, Lord. So you got to stick with Jesus yeah. until you overcome everything that is not like him. Yeah. And that's what Peter did. Huh? He stuck with Jesus because Jesus prayed for him that his faith wouldn't fail. Now notice, what, what Peter did could have caused a, a total insurrection. Amen? Also, what Peter did, uh, Jesus is going to bring it out in a minute, uh, uh, was a further attempt to deter Jesus from his task and mission. Remember, in the scriptures where it talked about uh, Jesus said, who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? Huh? Peter, quick with the revelation, thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Yeah. Jesus said, blessed art thou, Simon, by Jonah. Flesh and blood has not revealed this unto you. Yeah. Then Jesus said, uh, 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 it behoove Christ to suffer and to die. Peter rose up and said, uh, be it far from you, Lord, you ain't going to die. Jesus looked at him and said, get thee behind me, Satan. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you don't savor the things that be of God. At that moment, Peter was trying to deter Jesus from his mission. At this moment, Peter uh, unknowingly uh, is trying to deter Jesus from his mission because he was acting in the flesh. You don't want to operate in the flesh. Uh, you want to operate in the spirit. Uh, your flesh is a mess. Uh, uh, it, it, it's enmity against God. Uh, it'll go against the mission of Christ. Uh, a mission of God. Amen. It'll stand in the way at all times. Uh, that's why you got to get out of your flesh. Amen. Get out of your flesh. Uh, that's why the scripture says, There is therefore now no condemnation. Uh, to them that are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh. Don't walk, don't live in the flesh, but live in the what? The spirit. Uh, live in the anointing. Live in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I'm going to preach. I got to be another sermon. I'm going to preach it. The Lord give it to me. Live in the overflow. Uh, the overflow of the anointing. Uh, the overflow of his power. Uh, don't live in your flesh. Uh, when your flesh is rising up and you want to strike somebody, cut their ear off, take a knife and stab them and cut them, uh, cuss them out, uh, uh, you are breaking the flesh. you going against the mission uh, of salvation. you going against the mission of deliverance. Amen? And Jesus is going to look at you and say, get behind me, Satan. <laughs> uh, you don't save the things that be of God. You follow me? Hallelujah. I read that again, Pastor. Then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it. He drew it. And smote the high priest's servant. Huh? His name was what? Deacon Fields? What's the high priest's servant name? Malchus. Malchus. Thank you. Man, you should have had that right there. <laughs> Malchus. Cut his ear off. Mm -hmm. Amen. Cut his ear off. Mm -hmm. And then we don't see it here in the scripture. Jesus picked that ear back up. And, and put it back on the man's ear. Amen. He probably had better hearing out of that ear than he had the other one. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Jesus put the ear back on there. Amen. Why? Because he didn't want Peter to be charged. Amen. Thank you, Lord. The Lord will cover your mistakes uh, so you don't be charged. Hallelujah. <laughs> How many of us should have been in jail? How many of us should have been caught up in another place? Uh, but, but because Jesus rescued us. Because Jesus, if you allow me to say it, dropped the charges. Hallelujah. He'll do it for you. Won't he? Hallelujah. We made some big mistakes. Uh, thank you, Lord. But the Lord, he covered us. Uh, he looked beyond all of our faults. And he saw our need. Amen. Why? Because he saw how he wants to use you. Amen. Amen? Yeah. Uh, God wants to use you. Yes. Don't fool yourself. 
Huh? God has a plan? Yeah. Doesn't he have a plan? Yeah. You got to come into this life knowing God has a plan yeah. for you. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. And not, not that you uh, uh, intentionally make a lot of mistakes, but sometimes we make mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? And the Lord sees that, yeah. but yet he has a recovery plan. Right. Uh, hey, hey, yeah. That's another message, Pastor Doug. Yeah. Write these messages down. Yeah. Recovery plan. Yeah. Hey, come on, oh, shut up. Uh, I was going to say, Pastor, uh, go ahead, Pastor. Because uh, <laughs> we have to have a clean name. Yes. You know, there's a scripture telling us how we should have our name should be. Amen. Yes. Because, uh, if, we, if we have any kind of, uh, you know, any, any anything about our name, we can't uh, 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 draw the people. As right. We we'll lose influence. We, we can't be the salt. Thank you. Yes. We have to have an influence, and we must have a clean name. Yes. So that's why he covered. Yes. It's <laughs> not so many mistakes. Most so many. Not intentionally. Right. Not knowing. Absolutely. But God knows, so he covers us. Absolutely. He, he, he knows what he wants to use us for. Absolutely. So we know we have to go amongst the people, and we have to have influence on the people. If we got a dirty name, they don't want to hear us. No, no. And I'm going to say this. I hit you up deep. I'm going to say this. What she said, he does it before you cry out the Father. Before you get saved, he's still covering you. And then after you get saved, he's still covering you because of how he wants to use you. Amen. Deacon Fields? Jesus stressed prayer. He yes. Told, he told him to pray. Yeah, yeah he told him. And when you don't pray, <laughs> all right now. When you don't pray, yeah. this is the type of stuff that happens to you. Yep. You know, he, uh, You'll enter into temptation. He was trying to help them pray. Right. <laughs> so you don't enter into temptation. Yeah. Thank you. You see 600. Now, now you got to think about this too, how, how, how uh, I don't want to say silly he is. These 600 Roman soldiers coming at you, and you taking out your sword, cutting off one of them, cutting off somebody's ear. You know, you you in trouble. <laughs> Uh, you know they gonna bump rush it. <laughs> Amen. Jesus picked up the ear, put it back. Uh, there ain't no, no harm, no foul. <laughs> and you know, at that moment, uh, uh, you know, I know they probably should have been used to Jesus doing miracles and wonders, especially after they raised Lazarus from the dead. Uh, but you know, that should have gave them pause right there to make them think. You know, thank you, Lord. Yeah, but you know, some people don't think. Until the end. I'm looking at the Roman centurion that was at the feet of Jesus as, as, as he died on that cross. And he said, surely, uh, this was the son of God. He had to go through all of that uh, uh, to, for him to come with that conclusion that he was the son of God. Thank you, Lord. What does Jesus have to do for us uh, to cause us to believe? Uh, thank you, Lord. Don't, uh, ooh, I ain't going to go there. Thank you, Lord. All right. Where we at, Pastor? Yes. Uh-huh. Then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it. Uh-huh. And smote the high priest's servant. Yeah. And cut off his right ear. Cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. Cut off his dominant ear. <laughs> the servant's name was Malchus. All right, read. Then said Jesus unto Peter, mm -hmm. Put up thy sword into the sheep. Yes. The cup which my father have given me, yeah. shall I not drink it? Now see now, that's what he's telling Peter. Huh? He's, he's teaching him. Amen. I like that. Thank you, Lord. He said, put up your sword. Huh? Put up your sword into your sheep. He said, the, the cup which, which, excuse me, the cup which my father have given me, he said, shall I, excuse me, shall I not drink it? You know, the, the, this cup of refers to the suffering. It refers to the agony uh, that Jesus would go through, the cross that he would bear. Uh, he's saying, shall I not go through that? Shall I not go through that? Whatever God has assigned for you, uh, whatever the cup is for you, we all have a cup of suffering. We all have a cup of agony. You're going to be plagued with something. Amen. That's that's just just what it is. Amen. Amen. It's just how it is. Yes. 
A uh, man that is, Pastor Doug quoted that the other day. Man that is born of a woman is of a few days. And what? Full of trouble. Full of trouble. Amen. Blame that on Adam and Eve. Uh, but you got a cup. Uh, shall you not drink it? Shall you not go through it? Uh, ask yourself the question. What shall I render uh, unto the Lord for all of his benefits? <laughs> uh, notice, I will drink of the cup of salvation. Uh, and do what? Call upon the name of the Lord. Uh, he's a burden bearer. Isn't he? His, his, his hand over. His, his grace is sufficient. Uh, he won't put no more on you than you can bear. Uh, won't he? he? He'll make a way of escape. Won't he? Hallelujah. And, and, and God don't send you through unnecessary tests and trials and, and struggles. Uh, it's all for a reason. Uh, it's all for a cause. Instead of focusing on the negative, focusing on the positive. For this cause. I came out into the world. Yeah. Uh, for this reason was I born. Mm -hmm. For this reason were you born. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. My God. Am I right? Amen. God, come on, shot. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's, 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 that was Jesus' focus. Yeah. He kept his mind focused yeah. on the prize. Yeah. Huh? He pressed toward the mark. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's what we got to do. Especially in these last days. We got to focus uh, on the prize. Uh, we're too close to give up now. Uh, the love of many has waxed cold. Amen. Uh, uh, perilous times aren't coming. Perilous times have come. Huh? Huh? Y'all with me? Huh? We're too close to give up now. We're too close to lose now. Amen. Uh, wear this world as a loose garment. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Don't, don't get caught up with the next. Huh? Get caught up with Jesus. Huh? Literally, get caught up with Jesus. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So, so whatever comes your way, whatever is on your plate, eat it. Amen? Eat it. Huh? Don't murmur. Don't complain. Huh? Eat it. The Jews uh, at this season, because this is Passover season, they have what's called a, a Passover meal, and it's called Seder. Amen? And, and in that meal that they have, they have the meal consists of bitter herbs. It consists of a, 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 a piece of a roasted lamb or a shank huh? and some various other things. And, and they eat it. Huh? And each one of those things that are on the plate, it's, it's in remembrance. Uh, whatever you go through, do it in remembrance. Yeah. And that what Jesus said? Uh, drink of this cup. Eat of my, eat of my, uh, my body. Do it in remembrance. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Remember that he suffered for you. Yeah. So you got to suffer for him. Yeah. Uh, remember that he gave his life for a ransom for many. And remember that you got to give your life as a ransom for many. Yeah. Hallelujah. Remember that he was glorified. Hallelujah. Remember that one day you're going to be glorified. And he's going to say, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Get huh? in the joy of the Lord. Your labor won't be in vain. Hallelujah. Do it in remembrance of him. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. Lord, I, I praise you today. All right, read passage of the first man. Twelve. Uh huh. Then the band and the captain and officers of the Jews took Jesus and bound him. All right, now notice, notice, notice. Verse number twelve. What does it say? Say it again. Then the band and the captain and officers of the Jews uh -huh. took Jesus and bound him. Now notice, all of those bands of the officers and the captains and uh, those Roman soldiers. Uh, and the Jews, they were there. They're guilty. <laughs> they took Jesus and bound him. Yeah. They bound the one that was supposed to set them free. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't bind Jesus. No. Uh, he's, he's here to set you free. Amen. 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 Thank you. Don't bind him. Amen. They bound the one that was meant to set them free. Yeah. Isn't that an oxymoron? Yeah. Uh, hallelujah. Don't bind him. Thank you, Lord. Don't grieve the Holy Ghost. 
Don't put yourself in a rock and a hard place wherein you bind in the Lord from operating in your life. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Let him use you. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, don't give up on Jesus. No. Don't turn your back on him. Don't betray him. No. Amen? There's, there's a scripture that always um, got me going, so to speak, uh, when it talks about um, if you be ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. Amen? Amen. And the enemy will always try to get you not to talk about Jesus in public. Uh, not testify. Uh, don't pray. Don't seek him. Amen. Don't give him glory and honor. And I love it uh, when, when I see people, uh, even on the news and in the sports, whatever, however, uh, give God glory. You know, I love that. You know, praising God. You know what I mean? Give him some glory. Thank you, Lord. Whether, whether I'm, I'm, you know, I don't know their lifestyle, whether it's true or not, uh, but I'd like to see them give them glory. Yeah. Honor the Lord. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Honor the Lord. Make that your priority. Yeah. Live a lifestyle. Yeah. Amen? That honors the Lord. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Don't, don't bind him. Yeah. Amen? Amen? What binds him is your actions. Yeah. Uh, if you don't honor him. Mm -hmm. Amen? Honor him. Thank you, Lord. I right, read. Who we at? Thirteen. Uh huh. And led him away to Annas first, mm -hmm. for he was father-in-law to Caiaphas, yes. who was the high priest that same year. Now Annas, he really didn't have nothing to do with nothing, but uh, you know he had some authority and some uh, positions, so he wanted to conduct the first inquisition about Jesus. Amen. He wanted to do the first examining about Jesus. Because this also tells us that they already had their mind made up. Yeah. It wasn't that he was going to get a fair trial. Mm -hmm. Amen. I hope that doesn't happen in today's world. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. But, but they had their mind made up uh, about what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes when you go into situations, people already got their mind made up Amen. when they call you into the office. Yeah. Amen. About what they want to do. Yeah. Uh, but you got to trust in the Lord. Amen. You got to give glory unto God. Amen. Amen. And that, and then that, that lines up how Jesus answered these folks. Yeah. Amen. They weren't really truth seekers. They were really trying to hem him up. That's why Jesus was really invasive with his answers. You follow me? I went to God that 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 He would give me insight, wisdom, and knowledge when I'm dealing with people. You follow me? To reveal what their true motives are. Uh, because, you you know, I, I'm a nice guy. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I, and I, and I like to think the best about people. You follow me? And, and, I, and I'm supposed that that's what I should do. You know what I'm saying? I don't go around thinking the worst of people. You follow me? And, but, you know, everybody ain't for you. <laughs> you follow what I'm saying? Would to God, uh, and I know he will, hide, hide me from them folk that ain't for me. Uh, let me know in advance <laughs> before I put my heart out there and hold my neck out there and they chop it off. <laughs> you got a little wrong, Bishop. Oh, say it again. Everybody ain't with you. All right. I mean, everybody's with you, but everybody ain't for you. All right. Amen. They'll go along with you. Okay. So when it comes down to the real Jesus. Well, my God, my God. John brought that out in one of his epistles. He just reminded me of the, of the scripture that says that they left us uh, because they were never uh, with us. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And would to God that we pray for that kind of discernment. Amen. Can we have that kind of discernment if the Lord showed us that? Uh, what people really are? Uh, just, just put a head on them. Uh, 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 put an animal head on them. I'm showing you what kind of person they really are. Amen. Would that scare you? <laughs> Hallelujah. The Lord just revealed it to you. Amen. So you'll know how to handle them. You'll know how to deal with them. Jesus knew folks' thoughts before uh, they came to him. Amen. He knew their thoughts. Amen. Wouldn't it be, could you handle it, that, that gift, if you knew the thoughts of people? Uh, before uh, they, they came to you, that gift of discernment like that. Thank you, Lord. My God. All right. You, you know, I was thinking that uh, 
I think one of the reasons he asked the disciples to wait and watch while he prayed is because uh, he didn't know how he was going to die. He knew he was going to die, but he didn't know, uh, I don't think he knew how it was going to come about to happen. Who? Jesus. Huh? Well, it, 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 it said he, uh, I mean, he knew he had to die, but I don't think he, had, God doesn't show you everything. You know, every, sometimes you have to walk in faith to, to, to uh, I mean, he knew he was going to die. Yeah, he knew he was going to be crucified. He knew he was going to be beat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he knew that. You knew that. Okay. <laughs> but what was your point, though? Well, you was making a point. Well, my point was, my point was, um, let's say, uh, uh, God wanted everyone to see him die. Right. You know, they, they wanted it to be without question that he died. Yes. This is why uh, uh, he said, watch. Uh -huh. Watch my prayer. You know, because it, 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 he wanted, God wanted everyone to see him up here on the cross dying. Right. To make sure everyone knew he was dead. Right. Absolutely. That's why the sun stopped shining yeah. at noonday. That's why you had the earthquake. Yeah. Huh? Dead folk got up. Yeah. Huh? Today we don't know where they went, but they got up. Yeah. Huh? Thank you, Lord. And and and, and uh, what? He said they showed themselves. Yes. Thank you, Lord. So so that was manifest, made known. God wanted that to be made known. Thank you, Lord. And and you know, uh, we disagree, but Jesus knew that he was going to go to that cross and die. You know, the scripture bit that out. <laughs> yes, yes. But his cause came out into the world. And he said, uh, his bones won't be broken. Amen. <laughs> talk about that. All right? Read, where we at? 14. Uh -huh. Now, Caiaphas was he. Uh -huh. He gave counsel to the Jews. All right, I'm sorry. What verse are you in, Pastor? 14. All right, read. Now, Caiaphas was he which gave counsel to the Jews uh -huh. that it was expedient that one man should die for the people. All right. Uh, we, can you go back to uh, verse 8, 13? And led him away to Annas first. Okay, so Annas, he was not the high priest, amen, but he was one that was uh, there to gain information about Jesus so that they could put before the court to kill him. Amen? He was an instigator. Uh, you got instigators among you. Now everybody that's uh, seeking information from you, they want to have dinner with you and talk to you. Amen? To gain information about you. But they, don't, they want to use it against you. And that's what he was doing. He was trying to gain information to use it against Jesus. Amen? You got to watch out for folk like that. Amen? All right, so he came first. He was the father-in-law of Caiaphas. Caiaphas, now he was the high priest. Mm -hmm. Amen. He was the high priest. Uh, he was made the high priest, the Bible says, that same year. Mm -hmm. All right, so he had the responsibility to, to protect Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. To protect Jesus. There's a scripture in the book of Isaiah that talks about uh, who shall declare his generation? Uh, these individuals should have declared the generation of Jesus. Uh, Y'all with me? Why? Because they should have been in tune with God to know when the Messiah had come on the scene uh, and defended him. Y'all with me? Thank you, Lord. But they didn't do that uh, because they were carnal. They missed the boat. Amen? Hallelujah. Ain't that beautiful? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. All right. Read. What's it say? And led him away to Annas first, uh -huh. for he was father-in-law to Caiaphas, yes. which was the high priest that same year. Yes. Now Caiaphas was he which gave counsel to the Jews. Now notice, he gave counsel to the Jews, meaning there that he had already determined before there was a trial that Jesus was guilty. 
that he should be put to death. Amen? Mm -hmm. Ain't that wicked? Yes. Oh, my God. Read. That it was expedient that one man should die for the people. Does that see that? That he should die for the people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's wicked. Mm -hmm. you know, before, they couldn't even uh, make a, a inquisition before they could have a fair trial. They already concluded in their mind that he should be put to death. My God. All right, read. 15. Mm -hmm. And Simon Peter followed Jesus, and so did another disciple. That disciple was known unto the high priest and went in with Jesus into the palace of the high priest. All right, and they talk about that other disciple uh, is John. Amen. So uh, read that verse again. I'm sorry, Pastor. And Simon Peter followed Jesus. Uh, he followed Jesus. And so did another disciple. Uh, that's John the Baptist. I mean, not John the Baptist. John the Apostle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, was, that disciple was known unto the high priest uh -huh. and went in with Jesus into the palace of the high priest. Now notice, he said that disciple was known to the high priest. Mm -hmm. That tells you something about John. That's why his epistles are so spiritual. Because John had a spiritual connection. You follow me? It's good to have a spiritual connection. His epistle is more spiritual, if you allow me to say it, uh, talking about Jesus and the life of Jesus and the salvation of Jesus, more so than the other gospels. You follow me? Thank you, Jesus. When I said epistles, I meant to say gospels. All right? Read. 16. Uh-huh. But Peter stood at the door without. Uh huh. Then went out that other disciple, mm -hmm. which was known unto the high priest. Yes. And spake unto her that kept the door and brought in Peter. All right. So he talked to the high priest, said, "Peter's my boy. Let him in." And so the girl went and uh, got Peter and let him in. All right. Read. Then said the damsel that kept the door unto Peter. Uh huh. Art not thou also one of the, this man's disciples? Uh-huh. He said, I am not. Now notice, Jesus had prophesied to Peter uh, when Peter, when Jesus said that we're going to die. Uh, and G Peter tried to derail it again and said, Lord, you're not going to die. He said, before the cock crow, you're going to deny me how many times? <laughs> three times. Amen. And this is one of the three. Jesus showing himself here as a prophet. Uh, Jesus is a prophet. That's what it means by Messiah. Prophet, king, and priest. Yeah. All right, read. 18. Yeah. And the servants and officers stood there who had made a fire of coals, for it was cold. And they warmed themselves. And Peter stood with them and warmed himself. All right, read. The high priest then asked Jesus of his disciples and of his doctrine. Mm -hmm. Now notice, remember um, that the high priest had already made up in his mind that they were already going to kill Jesus. Yeah. And he asked Jesus about his doctrine, but he also asked him about who? His what? Disciples. So that they can do what? Kill them. Kill them too. Wow. Ain't that something? See how they kind of uh, 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 veiled their question? Uh, who's your disciple? Who, what's your doctrine? And what's your disciples? Who are your followers? So that we can read out that set. Uh, because remember when Jesus made his triumphal entry into Jerusalem. Uh, and, and they cried out, Hosanna. Uh, and one of their last statements of those uh, religious folk was, the world has gone after him. Uh, so they had to make up in their mind how they was going to get rid of him. He had too much fame. Yes. He was pulling too many people. Yeah. He had too much influence. Mm -hmm. He was taking away. Amen? Mm -hmm. So they wanted to find out indirectly about who his disciples are, who his followers are. Mm -hmm. See that? All right. Thank you, Lord. All right, read what verse you in. 20. Uh-huh. Jesus answered him. I spoke openly to the world. <laughs> right. I ever taught in the synagogue. I spoke openly to everybody. I taught in the synagogue. And in the temple. And in the temple. Whither the Jews always resort. 
Uh huh. And in secret have I said nothing. I said nothing. Amen. <laughs> Ain't that powerful? Yeah. Now, you know, he, he knew what they was trying to do. Jesus knew what they were trying to do. Huh? But he said, look here, I told it openly. Huh? I, I, I wasn't secretive. Huh? That reminds me of the Apostle Paul when he was about to die. He said, he said to his group, thank you, Lord, that, that, that I withheld nothing. I, I've made known to all of you the will of God. I kept nothing back. Nothing, huh? nothing back. Um, Jesus is saying, I kept nothing back. Um, I've, I've spoke openly. Uh, hallelujah. Read. Why askest thou me? Uh, now he put the question back on them. Why are you asking me this? Read. Ask them which heard me. <laughs> if you want to know who my followers are, ask them that heard me. Uh, if you're trying to find witnesses against me, ask them that heard me. Uh, that's why I said, what to God that we have insight when we are dealing with folk. Yeah. Uh, uh, and the Holy Ghost, my God, see now the Holy Ghost working on me. Yeah. The Bible said the Holy Ghost, uh, don't think about what you should answer. The Holy Ghost will give you what to answer at that moment. Right. Yeah, glory. Oh, man. I got a witness now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The Holy Ghost will lead you. And you just be bold enough to say it. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't be timid. You be bold enough to say it. If the Lord give it to you, say it. And then you'll shut them off of the gates. Hallelujah. Go ahead, D. We know Jesus is a, a counselor. He counseled the uh, woman that was caught in adultery. They caught her right in the act. Very act of adultery. And he defended her. Got her home. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Then he turned around and said, Woman, where are thou accusing? Huh? He said, he said, I don't accuse you. Uh, uh, good. Then he said, go and do what? Said, no, he knew she was a sinner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He, he didn't, see, he didn't come to judge like that. Amen. He didn't come to judge like that. Thank you, Lord. He came to be the Savior of the world. Uh, he wanted that woman to have an opportunity to be saved. Thank you, Lord. My God. Hallelujah. I love it. I love it. But, but what Deke is saying here, is, is in connection to how he's defending himself. He already is a mighty good lawyer. <laughs> hey, hey, Lord. Take him in the courtroom. <laughs> hey, Lord. All right, Sister Louise. I was thinking, too, I think about that, too, and I'm thinking that Jesus might have been thinking, this is me. Jesus might have been thinking, that ain't your business. You shouldn't be judging her. That's between her and me. Right. And leave her alone. You know what I'm <laughs> Absolutely. That ain't your business. You're into something you have no business. Absolutely. You know, her heart is mine. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And and to add to that, they were not qualified because they not only had they didn't have no moats in their eye, they had some beans in their eye. Right. <laughs> you follow me? Yeah. He said, first take out the beam out of your own eye yeah. before you can see the moat in somebody else's eye. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Wow, man, we get some deep Bible study here tonight. Yeah, Thank you, Lord. My God, my, judge not that you be not judged. <laughs> Hallelujah. No doubt that came back to him. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. All right, where we at? 21. Uh -huh. Read. Why askest thou me? Uh -huh. Ask them which heard me. Yes. What I have said unto them. Yes. Behold, they know what I said. They know what I said. I tell them, you know what I said. <laughs> you know what I said. Yeah. I read. And when he had, had thus spoken, one of the officers which stood by struck Jesus with the palm of his hand. Smote him on the face. Saying, uh -huh. answer thou the high priest. Uh -huh. My God. He tried to treat the high priest as a righteous person uh -huh. uh, and, and thinking Jesus was answering the individual unrighteously. But Jesus is the great high priest. Amen. <laughs> uh, smote him on the face. Yeah. Amen. People get mad at you. Smote, him, smote you on the face. But the Bible says don't get revenge. Huh? Uh, turn me out of cheek. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, read. Jesus answered him. Hold on, I got to get that scripture right. That scripture means, it don't mean you sit there and take a beating. Right. That scripture means that don't, don't try to get revenge on folks. Amen. Thank you. Yes. All right. Read. 
Jesus answered him, uh -huh. If I have spoken evil, bear witness of the evil. Now notice, he's saying this, because because they're, they're his accusers, right? Mm -hmm. He said, if I've spoken evil, tell me what evil have I spoken of. Mm -hmm. And you know they couldn't find nothing. Mm -hmm. Amen? They can't find no fault uh -huh. in Jesus. He did nothing that was evil. Uh -huh. huh? What you say, Deacon? I said this. He did good uh, giving them a can't court. Right, absolutely. Absolutely. They took him by night, huh, which was wrong. And, and, and then they had suborned liars. The scripture, this, this, this text don't tell it, but, but and they had they hired liars. Huh? That's what the suborn means. They hired liars huh, to, to lie against Jesus. You follow me? He, he didn't have a fair start from the beginning. Uh, but God. Yeah, but God. Not God. Now, I'm getting a little bit more insight on what Jesus went through for us. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Are right, we? Jesus answers to him, If I have spoken evil, bear witness of the evil. But if well, why smite us? Yeah, why, why are you hitting me? Father, why are you hitting me? Notice what Jesus did. He didn't hit the man back. He said, why hit this thou? The reason why Jesus didn't hit the man back, because he was to be a lamb. Amen? He was to be a lamb before his slaughters. Amen? When he was reviled, he reviled not again. Amen? And, and when, when he suffered, he didn't provoke. You follow me? He was fulfilling the scriptures. Amen? Also, also like Saul, you ain't supposed to touch the anointing. Amen. He put his hands on them, and, 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 and God said, touch not the anointing. Do my prophet no harm. I read. 24. Mm -hmm. Now Annas had sent him bound unto Caiaphas the high priest. All right, so now he finished with the kangaroo court, and now he went to Caiaphas. Another one. Another one. Amen. He went from, the Bible says he went from judgment to judgment. Now when y'all hear people preaching that now, now y'all know what that means. He went from judgment to judgment. From Ananias to Caiaphas and then to Pilate. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Three of them. <laughs> In one night. <laughs> My God. I read. And Simon Peter stood and warmed himself. Yes. They said therefore unto him, Art not thou also one of his disciples? He denied it and said, I am not. That's the second time. Mm -hmm. I read. One of the servants of the high priest, being his kinsman, whose ear Peter cut off, <laughs> said, Did not I see thee in the garden with him? So everybody's watching. Everybody watching. Mm -hmm. uh, you're doing wicked out there. People watching. Yeah. <laughs> read. Peter then denied again. Uh -huh. And immediately. The That's the third time. Is Jesus a true prophet? Yes, yes he's a true prophet. Amen. All right? Read. Then led they Jesus from Caiaphas unto the hall of judgment. Mm. And it was early. Yes. And they themselves went not into the judgment hall, lest they should be defiled, but that they might eat the Passover. Ain't that hypocritical? Yeah. Uh, folk like that. Huh? That's hypocritical. They, they'd rather put a man to death uh, and think that that's justified of uh, 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 suborn liars, paid Judas, huh? and smoked Jesus on the face, uh, took him in the back room, <laughs> trying to uh, inquire of him, but yet they worried about the Passover. <laughs> Come on here, somebody. Uh, let us not be like that. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let's not put one sin above another sin. <laughs> you follow me? Yes. All of them, yes. my God. All right, read. Pilate then went out unto them and said, What accusation bring ye against this man? All right, so he's saying, uh, they took him to Pilate. They're like, what accusation? Pilate want to know what charges yes. they are. All right, read. They answered and said unto him, If he were not a male factor, uh -huh. we would not have delivered him up unto thee. <laughs> They tell, they tell him, Pilate, if he wasn't an evildoer, yeah. we wouldn't have turned him over to you. 
Uh, he's an evil doer. But what evil has he done? <laughs> you follow me? They're lying on him. Uh, but yet they're worried about the Passover. <laughs> Don't be lying and worried about the Passover. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Uh, get your lie, get your lie covered. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. All right, read. Just reminds me what Jesus said. Uh, 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 we, Lord, we prophesied in your name. We preached in your name. Uh, but the Lord said, "I'm gonna say I never knew you. Depart from me, ye what? Workers of iniquity." Uh, my God, because they didn't do what was right. Amen. You got to do what's right. Am I right? Live a holy life. Amen. I read. Don't be a hypocrite. Then said Pilate unto them, Take ye him and judge him according to your law. All right. Now he's saying they, they made Pilate aware that he was uh, uh, calling himself a king. So Pilate, he like, well, hey, I ain't got nothing to do with that. Take him and judge him according to your law. Yes. Now uh, they wanted Jesus dead. And the scripture says that Jesus had to die by crucifixion. If they were to kill him, they would have had stoned him, right? So, but they didn't want to get into the stoning part because they were thinking about the Passover. You follow me? <laughs> but they wanted him dead. You follow me? Thank you, Lord. So that's why the, how the scriptures were fulfilled that he was be crucified for telling of his death. You follow me? That's how Jesus knew how he was going to die. Y'all with me? Hallelujah. All right, read. The Jews therefore said unto him, Is it not lawful for us to put any man to death? What verse is in? 31. Okay, read. The Jews therefore said unto him, Is it not lawful for us to put any man to death? He said, Is it not lawful to put any man to death? Read. That the saying of Jesus might be fulfilled, which he spake, signifying what death he should die. See, that lets you know that he knew what type of death he was going to die. Amen. Amen. He would be crucified, yes. put to death. Amen. On the cross. Hung man. Yes. Amen. Read. Then Pilate entered into the judgment hall again and called Jesus uh -huh. and said unto him, Art thou the king of the Jews? Now, 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 Pete, now Paul, uh, Pilate now is making inquisition of Jesus. And, and Jesus' answer is, is literally going to uh, confound Pilate. He's not going to understand what he's saying. And, and, and he was thinking, uh, Pilate is thinking that Jesus had a physical kingdom. A, a, a worldly kingdom. Yes. But Jesus was speaking of a spiritual king. Yes. Amen? Amen? Thank you, Lord. All right, read. 34. Uh -huh. Jesus answered him, Sayest thou this thing of thyself, or did others tell thee of thee? <laughs> See, now, now he's asking, you been listening, who you been listening to? <laughs> uh, what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> what you talking about? Uh, who put this in your mind? See, that's what I'm saying. Jesus something else. Yeah. He didn't back down from them folk. Uh, when your enemy is pressing you, don't back down from them. Uh, be respectful. Answer questions. Uh, but ask a few questions. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Uh, who told you of this? Read. What verse you in? 35. Uh-huh. I will answer. Am I a Jew? <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thine own nation and the chief priests have delivered thee unto me. Yeah. What hast thou done? Yeah. Now see, now this fulfills the scripture. When Jesus was proviled, he reviled not again. Mm -hmm. You follow me? When he was, when he was provoked, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? He didn't go off the deep end. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when we get provoked, we can go off the deep end. Yeah. But if you go off the deep end, you'll lose the victory. Right. What does James say in the scriptures? of how we should speak and talk. Be slow to speak. Be slow to speak. Swift to, swift, swift to hear. And slow to wrath. Amen. So don't let what people say to you fester in your mind. If you allow it to fester in your mind, it's going to change your emotions. It's going to get you angry. Uh, and then when you get angry, it's going to show up. Amen. Anger can't abide in your heart 
unless it be manifest. Amen? Thank you, Lord. All right? Don't let them get your goat. Oh, that's another message. <laughs> Don't let them get your goat. All right? What verse are we in, Pastor? 36. Huh? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight, mm -hmm. that I should not be delivered to the Jews. All right, now Jesus was saying, my kingdom is a spiritual kingdom, not a political kingdom. If it, if, if, if it were, uh, I would have me a military army. So in essence, what Jesus was doing was defusing Pilate to let him know that this is no threat against you, man. Uh, uh, I'm talking about a spiritual kingdom, mm -hmm. right. not a physical kingdom. Right. Uh, and therefore, Pilate, in turn, says, well, I don't find any issue here. Uh, he's not trying to raise a resurrection, uh, resurrection against me. He's not trying to start a fight with me. Uh, uh, and that's what he said, I find no fault. Uh, notice how Jesus answered the question. Mm -hmm. He answered it truthfully. Uh, thank you, Lord. And, and, and he was trying to give him insight, yeah. but he wasn't spiritual. Right. Uh, Jesus will give you insight if you are spiritual. Right. Amen. you got to be right. spiritual minded, yeah. born again. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Of the water and the spirit. Let the anointing open your mind up and give you a revelation as to what Christ is saying. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. All right. Read. Go ahead. Read. Jesus answered my Hold kingdom. Hold on, Deacon, Deacon Fields got something to say. Oh, God. I, I would say that Jesus spoke with authority. Authority? And I would think like Martin Luther King. Uh huh. When you hear his voice, yeah. you gotta know, ask Yeah. You know, it's, it's, Come on. it's got a sound to it. Yeah. And, and Jesus' voice would have had a sound to it that they recognized as well. Yes, yes. My God. We should know his voice. Amen. Amen. Uh, the devil ain't going to tell you to do good. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right, what verse are we in, Pastor? Yeah, verse 36. All right. I'll read the whole thing again. Okay, go ahead. Jesus answered, my kingdom is not of this world. Uh -huh. If my kingdom were of this world, yeah. then my servants would fight. My servants would fight? That I should not be delivered to the Jews. Uh huh. But now is my kingdom not from here. See, no, my kingdom ain't from here. It's a spiritual kingdom. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Our kingdom, and we're part of the kingdom of Christ, is not a worldly kingdom, it's a spiritual kingdom. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And that kingdom is manifested yeah. in you through the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. All right, read, Pastor. Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? <laughs> Jesus answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. Uh -huh. To this end was I born. Now he's giving him a double answer. And huh? for this cause came I into the world. For this cause I came into the world. That I should be a witness unto the earth and to the truth. Uh -huh. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. There it is. Everybody that's of truth heareth my voice. Yes. Amen. If you are of the truth, you shouldn't have no problem hearing of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now notice, this is a key uh, uh, point into hearing the truth. If you want to do right, yeah. uh, you'll hear his voice. Right. You follow me? Right. If you want to live right, you'll hear his voice. He'll speak to you. Amen. Hallelujah. If you want to do evil, you'll reject him. Uh, but if you want to do right, uh, you'll hear his voice. His voice will always tell you what to do, to do right. Amen? Uh, the Holy Ghost will lead you uh, into all truth. Amen? The Holy Ghost will speak uh, of Jesus. Amen? The truth. He, Pilate was by the truth, talking to the truth, uh, <laughs> and, and, and didn't know it because he was rejecting it. Amen? Don't reject the truth. <laughs> Don't be sitting among truth and reject it. Don't be by the truth and reject it. Huh? My God. My God. Ooh, that's another sermon. I read. I'm full of sermons today. Father said unto him, What is truth? What is, now notice his response. What is truth? Amen? If, if it was close to him, he could have spit on it. <laughs> Jesus right there. <laughs> What'd you say, Pastor? He was the truth. Talking to it. Yeah. Amen. But miss the mark. Yeah. Don't now don't be like Pilate. Yeah. When the word finds you, uh, and it's true, don't reject it. That's 
Amen? Receive it. Re Proverbs tell you to receive it as, as precious jewels. Huh? Let it be pleasant to your soul and to your spirit. Let it be marrow to your bones. Amen? Uh, receive it. Hey, let it be let it be good medicine. Let it heal you. Uh -huh. Hallelujah, my God. Who am I talking to you? Let it be like good sap, good fish, first aid huh? to your body, to your mind. Amen. Let it strengthen you. I read. Uh huh. Pilate said unto him, yes. What is true? What is true? And when he had said this, uh -huh. he went out again unto the Jews mm -hmm. and said unto them, yes. I find in him no fault at all. So, fault, Pilate didn't find no fault. Huh? Not guilty. But that didn't change the verdict. No. <laughs> Read. Go ahead, deep. But if he would have only let Jesus have answered that question. <laughs> oh, I like that. He just stuck around a while. Right, exactly. Jesus could have took him to the script. See, now he asked the right question. Huh? He left out before he could get an answer. I like that. Thank you, Lord. Nicodemus, he was like that. Came to Jesus by night. Huh? But Jesus, he stuck around and got an answer. Amen. Read. 39. But ye have a custom. That I should release unto you one at the Passover. Mm -hmm. Will you therefore that I release unto you the king of the Jews? Now notice, he, Pilate trying to set him free. Read. Then cried they all again, yes. saying, mm -hmm. Not this man, not but Barabbas. Jesus. Barabbas. Now Barabbas was a robber. He was a robber. Wow. 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 Good lesson on today. The reason why we come to this lesson. Because we're coming up on the, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. Yes. The Lord went through something for us. Amen. 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 Let us not betray him as yes. Judas yes. And, as, and, as, and as Peter. Amen. 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 Let us not accuse him falsely like the Sadducees and the Pharisees. And, and let us not try to bind him. No. Amen. Like the Roman soldiers. Uh, and let us not uh, not wait around for truth. Reject it like Pilate did. Amen? Amen. Uh, let us appreciate him. Let us declare his generation, which they should have done. They should have declared him uh, who he is. Uh, as we move toward our, our fasting and our prayer on Thursday and our communion on Friday, let us let us uh, sanctify our minds, sanctify our bodies, our spirit, our soul, so that we can be able to discern him and celebrate the feast of the Passover. Uh, those, it's offering time in the sanctuary, and it's offering time in our virtual land. If you want to give, uh, you can remember always to give uh, on Tidely, so that you can give to everyone uh, of the causes of God. And we thank you for tuning in with us on today. May heaven smile upon you and may God bless you with a spiritual benediction. In Jesus' name, amen.